and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans, and new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my future videos. In front of us we have the Texan PL-398BT. We're going to perform a nighttime uh, shortwave band scan and medium wave band scan. As you can tell it is 1.14 in the morning, uh, Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois, and we'll see what we can find. We're going to do a browse with the frequency mode and see what stations it picks up. Let's go ahead and do a signal noise ratio here. And then as I find stations, I'll be adding them to memory with the memory button here. So we'll go ahead and press and hold the frequency button. And we'll see what we pick up. We'll probably go up to probably 7 or 8 megahertz, maybe up to 10, just to see if anything comes up. It's been a fairly quiet evening. Yeah, I love this little radio. Just a great little shortwave receiver. Um, I'm using the 35 inch whip with a little Texan wire attached. About a, I think it's a 12 to 13 foot wire. Like I said, we'll go up to about 10, 10 megahertz. See where we're at. The uh, browsing, and I noticed the ATS misses a lot of stations. So typically, uh, it's better to manually tune to, but it would take forever on a band scan. So try to keep it simple here. And of course, if it's outdoors, it'd be even better. But it's one in the morning. <laughs> Don't need the cops called. <laughs> All right, we're almost at 10, and I'll stop it there. We'll go see what we found, and then we'll do some uh, medium wave band scan where it's at. That's that's my my fave. The medium wave is it. We all know Tiger loves it. Kind of a loud signal there. Cool. We'll see, we'll go a little past 10 then, so we find anything else. Fall asleep looking at the numbers. <laughs> As you can see, the signal noise ratio change out with the display button. I won't do it while I'm searching, but yeah, you use this button here. It can change it to the different uh, modes. So you can see your clock and you can see the alarm times and things. Okay, so looking like we probably won't find much right now. It seems like the conditions worsened over the night. But uh, we'll see what we can get here. All right, so I'm going to do a stop. I have access those automatic saved, or not automatic, but the ones I mentally, mentally manually entered um, using the memory key here for the memory right. mode. We may have some repeats. Parroquia. 
cristiano, gente como cristiano, como católico, eh, con respecto a este tema. Es incómodo para mí hablar de él. Eh, no sé cómo, cómo tratar si... si... Con otros tipos de reptiles antiguos, en los alados, peptosaurios. Los dinosaurios presentan las mismas características. ¿Cómo puedo yo eh, ofrecer? Sir Richard Owen, en 1842. <risa> extremadamente variados y se caracterizaron principalmente por ser ovíparos y de piel. Okay, so this is what we found tonight. Yeah, yeah. Looking very nice tonight. Cool. So it's it's still capable. It reminds me of the 380 or the 310 as far as capability on the shortwave. So, but the AM is where it shines. So let me go ahead and put my antenna down and we'll go to the medium wave here and we will explore that. All right, let me put this here. Okay. So with the medium wave, we're gonna try, we're gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna angle the radio like this. I typically give most of my signals in this orientation. I have a, a north-south this direction and east-west this direction. So I kind of put it in the middle here. I'll see if I can catch most signals. So what I wanna do is, let me just uh, bring this tripod up a little bit so you can see what I'm pressing. Okay, so the AM key here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press and hold. And we're gonna do a scan and we're gonna get hopefully a bunch of stations uh, on the medium wave here with the auto tuning system. Like I said, it was, wasn't working so great in the short wave, maybe because the signals weren't coming in nice and strong, but it looks like we're getting a few here on the medium wave. We're looking at that, we're 60 going in 70 stations. So yeah, we're picking up quite a bit. And I'll leave it in this orientation unless I have to get a better reception, so. So 550 is um, KTRS, St. Louis, Missouri, which is uh, 275 miles at 5,000 watt tower. This is local. Not too sure what that is. Okay, so this is WKZO, Kalamazoo, Michigan. It's 137 miles at a 5,000 watt tower. During the day, I could pick it up, but it's not as strong. Six ten. This should get better. I don't have this on my list. Okay, so it missed six hundred. So we'll just go um, frequency mode, and we'll go back down and see if we can. Okay, 
600 is uh, WMT Cedar Rapids, Iowa, 175 miles, 5,000 watt tower. Notice the medium wave reception is much better than a 310 to 380. So if you're looking for a step up, but you don't want to buy the expensive uh, 660 or the 880, uh, this is a really capable AM receiver. So, I mean, plus you have all your bandwidth options. I typically leave it on three, unless I gotta narrow some noise out. Okay, so let's. Back to memory mode. Bush Bagata puts it. He's global technology director for JLL, the global commercial. 620s WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's 52 miles away. 10,000 watt tower. Should come in clear. <laughs> 640, we got some music. That's uh, WF, WMF and Piatone, Illinois. That's 75 miles away on a 1600 watt tower. And what we'll do is we can go to frequency mode here again. And I'm going to manually enter this in 630. It passed it up. We'll see if we can get 630. 630 is usually CFCO, Chatham, Ontario, that direction. Picking up a little bit of it. Okay. And then we'll go back to memory mode and see if it picked up Nashville. It did not. So it doesn't pick them all up when you do that. So let's go to back to this mode. So it's kind of back and forth modes, um, which make it interesting. That's coming really nice. I noticed there's no static. I was getting a lot of static on my other radios, um, and this sounds really clean. Very nice. Uh, so WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. All right. Let's go back to memory mode. This is uh, 670, the score, local Chicago station. No, not because I say so, because that's All the sports. way the Cubs will beat out the Brewers. Give me a reason why I'm getting giddy over that fact. When one of Tiger's true competitors realizes the future possibilities, well, that's saying so. 690 is TSN Montreal, Quebec, 763 miles. You know, Phil and Ernie and all those guys had to deal with, but it's sort of a different version, but you know, he's right there. You know, he's right 680. There. I have 680 as a CFTR Toronto, Ontario. Should be this way. We know for kicks. Uh, let's see, do I have a loop handy? I'll bring my loop out. Just to see if it can make a difference. Bring this up. See what I'm doing. Radio so big. <laughs> Trying to get that screen to show up. So I'm really not getting much of a result there. It is slight, if anything, but I'll keep the loop handy. Okay, uh, let's go back to memory mode and see what else it found or missed. Sitting on the beach and staying out of the water. Bring us back down. Plus, check out Jack Johnson's Shark Week playlist. Jack curated a playlist. 700. WLW Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. Wow, oh, pick up 710. <laughs> Okay, so 710 I have is WOR, New York, New York, 750 miles. That's pretty good selectivity. And it missed 720. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's go for a good mode. Put in my local, the strongest station in the world. 
So like I say, don't always rely on ETM or these auto tuning systems. They're not the perfect, as you can tell, and this the strongest station I have in the area. Okay. I'm gonna tune it up. I heard Zoomer. Sounded really good. CFZM, uh, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Sweet. We'll go up to 750. I think I'm just going to manually tune it in this section here. WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. WJR Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. Seven seventies trying to come through. It's WABC New York City. It's pretty faint. You can take WBBM with you the radio.com app. Local Chicago and listen anytime, anywhere. Eight hundred here. Nothing on there. Let's go to eight ten. Albany, New York. WGY, so around 40 miles. Barely picking it up. Oops. Yeah, I hate this when it goes too fast. If you go to the fact is, that the evidence. This moment. Typically, this is WBAP, Fort Worth, Texas, 810 miles. But sometimes it's a local station which is 60 miles away, which is WCPT in Joliet, Illinois. Sometimes they kind of mix. All right, so we had WCCO there. Okay, so typically my camera here gives off noise in 830, which is not right now. WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. I'm wondering if this just has a good filter circuit in it. Very nice and clear. Okay, I get a lot of hate mail from Sedona as well. WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. About 300 miles. This is KOA Denver. I'm not making it out. CJBC Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. WWL New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles. Um, I was, I WCBS, New York City. Barely making it out there. I think I heard him say it. Okay, let's have a good chat on. CHM, uh, CHML. Hamilton, Ontario, 430 miles. WFDF, Detroit. This 
is usually WWJ, WWJ Detroit. I'm with the 990 here. Yeah, 980. I don't have anything for 980. So 990 CBW Winnipeg Manitoba, Manitoba 675 miles. Local ESPN 1000. Right now, let me play for a contending team. Jacob Degrom needs to be traded, and the value the Mets would get for him will last for them for years to come, even better than what Jacob Degrom can bring. Well, Jacob Degrom has a, an attitude. The Mets have had their attitude over the. Now, with the actual documents in hand, not political spin written by law. Little birdie tone here at 1020. KDK Pittsburgh. 450 miles. It's kind of annoying because I like KDK. A bit more birdie tones on 1010, but I don't get much there. I think WBZ there is mixed in with that music station. Like, um, WHO, Des Moines, Iowa, like 280 miles. Um, stories of oh, wait, wait, UFOs, UFOs, I heard it. Damn, get in there. <laughs> well, you got a chunk of them there. Here, she's at 57, so. Thank you for the call, appreciate it, and uh, welcome to the program. Uh, we'll go east of the Rockies, uh, Paul in Ohio. Hey, Paul. Oh, good evening, George. Howdy. Uh, I have a, a report to make, which you may want to laugh me off the line, but honest to gosh, it's true. Back two weeks prior to the last solar eclipse, I had my telescope set up. And before I could take it outside, I went out into the front yard. We live on a... Uh, flight past the greater Cincinnati airport, so I'm used to seeing airplanes with their okay. landing and stroke flight. Yeah, we know where that's going. KYW, Philadelphia, PA, 700 miles. Got a music station there from KAY, Little Rock, Arkansas. Yeah, 570 miles. Sweet. Um, so I'm just going to go up here a little bit. WTAM, Cleveland, Ohio. KMOX, St. Louis, Missouri. Everybody can hear this station in the world. <laughs> Bloomberg Radio, once in a while I get this from New York City. And I repeated the same thing again. Flash the flashlight at it and it, it flashed back. WRVA, Richmond, Virginia, 665 miles. I think I would see anything. I think somebody with a drone is messing with the guy. It's my opinion. Thank you for correcting my English. I flashed. It flashed back. WHAM, Rochester, New York, 545 miles. WHAM, 
WPHT, Philadelphia, PA, 700 miles. I've never seen anything move that quickly. And so I'm sitting in my chair, and I notice. All right, we're going to just kind of go up the band. Twelve nineties WHIO, Dayton, Ohio, two hundred eighty miles. Yeah, it's a hassle with the tuning wheel, but you have to to find the stations because you can't rely on that tuning system to work properly all the time. But you know, during the day, it does a really great job picking up strong signals too. This is Ottawa, Ontario, six hundred sixty miles. CIWW. Fort Wayne Station, once in a while I'll pick it up. There we go. WKJG. 185 miles, 5,000 watt tower. Let's go to 1430, I got a St. Louis Station name, so I can pick it up. That should be KZQZ, St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles, 5,000 watt tower. Look we'll up to the top of the band here. Get Nashville. So WLAC, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. And at 1520, I don't think we'll get anything today. It's kind of a harder station to get out of Oklahoma City. About 700 miles away. KOKC. Yeah, I heard Brother Stare there in the middle of those bands. Wow, what's he transmitting on? That's interesting. Hmm, uh, that's interesting. That's WCKY usually. I wonder, yeah, at this time, maybe they change over to a different programming and allow people to buy time. So he's on 1530. Okay. American Trucking Show, August 23rd through 25th at the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center in Dallas, Texas. Visit Red Eye Radio's Lobby. Go up to 1610. Sounded good. CHHA, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. I'll tell you, I got a lucky with some of these music stations from Toronto coming in nice and clear. And uh, we'll go to 1630 and probably call it there. That's typically where the mighty KCJJ is. Out of Iowa City. Kind of a low power, 1,000 watt tower. Yeah, so we'll call it right there. Alrighty, so there you go. We got the, like a small shortwave band scan at night, and we got a nice medium wave band scan there at uh, 1.42 in the morning. Kind of give you an idea what this radio can do. Yes, the, the medium wave on this thing is much better than the smaller Texans out there. Um, if you're looking for a, a mini DXer, this is something to pick up, definitely. You, you, the money will be well spent. I will say that for sure. Um, enjoying it every minute of it for that <laughs> shortwave eh, it's okay it's basic like i say it's similar to the other smaller radios it doesn't blow me away but the fm fm stereo sounds fantastic on here too so it's all great so if you like the video big thumbs up uh if you uh are new to the channel and you like these band scans uh you like texan radios you like totterbert <laughs> hit subscribe hit the bell icon uh stay tuned for more band scans more texan radios uh, usually I'm reviewing quite a few every evening, so stay tuned for those. And then comment below what you think about the Texan 
uh, PL398 on the band scans. It wasn't an awesome night, but it was, it was halfway decent. So I appreciate you guys watching. Until next episode, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.